What's good, YouTube, man? You already know where you at. You know what it is. Back with y'all with this next drop with the newest releases from newera.com. Mail is a little slow. I'm just now getting mine. You already know what it is. You know that plain brown box. I mean, it's a new era drop. So we're going to get right into them. Like I said, these are pretty much the newest releases they have up there. Outside of they did a restock of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A lot of them sold out, not really my speed, so definitely won't see no turtles in this release, but this is pretty much the releases before that. So pretty much if you already follow hats and you follow fitties, you know what they are. I got a three spot hitter right here in the box. We're going to get right into it, man. Let's drop right into it, man. No hesitation. Let's go. Get, 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 get. Like I said, man, we're going to jump right into it. Like I said, I got a three-hit deal on these, man. Uh, basically, like I said, if you know me, you know how I do my fitted hats. Basically, I'm not really, I have my special sport teams. Like I said, I'm a Cali dude, so my basketball team, I'm ride or die with the Clippers and ride or die with the Raiders. Even though they move to Vegas, I'm a Cali guy. So pretty much when you talk Vegas, that pretty much is an extension of California. Let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? Majority of the people that live there are pretty much Cali transplants. So basically it really doesn't matter that's still home. But uh, outside of that, the point is when it comes to me and my hats, it, it takes colorway, logos, the way the hat is designed, things of that nature. So, I mean, I pretty much buy any team as long as it comes looking legit and it comes looking good. So with these, uh, I heard some talk, some people liked them, some people didn't. I mean, these are the ones that particularly caught my eye and my style, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, a lot of my fittings, I um, transplant over to, you know, when it has to do with my kicks. So I take all of that in consideration when I'm buying, you know what I'm saying? Like the colorway, the logo, not really so much the team. I mean, there are some teams I won't buy, but then again, that's California reason. So, you know, that's a whole nother video. But again, these are the ones that caught my eye, so we're going to hop right into these right here. And as you know, how newer it does with their black box, as I like to call it, so all of their hats come in plastic because they really don't want to damage the hat. So let's pull out all the, the <laughs> indecisive receipts and everything. We're just going to jump into them as I pull them out. Like I said, they're all wrapped in plastic. So first hat here. And I'm going to get into why each one caught my eye a certain way, personally. Uh, man, I don't know if they're magnetically sealed or what. I'm trying to be neat with it, you know what I'm saying? They're putting holes in them. But uh, the first one here we got. Now, mind you, the name of each one of these, I mean, I'll try to get in the description. These are called the MLB flag. And like my guy Fitted Insider said, man, go check him out. Like I said, that's my guy. This more so when you say flag in baseball, you say pennant. I'm not really a baseball guy, so flag, pennant, but I do get it because, you know, when you win the pennant and things like that, it's like a flag and everything. But we're going to get into the first one of those. Now, as far as these flag releases, this is the one that caught my eye. And like I said, I'll get into a why. This is the Philadelphia Phillies. As you see, they had their flag pinned on this side with the Philly spelled in it. And you can see the little indentation on the outside of the Philly P logo. Now, which would drew me to this one for my opinion on getting it. Sometimes a lot of my hats I do wear backwards. And I love how they threw the Philly P logo on the back right there. So, I mean, you know, if you're that kind of person who you do, you know, throw your hat on backwards sometime or just a little, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It still gives you a little something on the back. You got your white New Era flag on the side. Not really too much indistinctive under going on. You know, you got your saying, you got your, your black inline, your black inline, your size eight, all your tags and everything, your stickers. Uh, of course, your gold eight, of course, my channel, everything's eight. But uh, for the most part, um, the design is nice. Even the flag, if you feel everything on here, is really indented if you look at that. Like this, this isn't sewn in. This is actually a, like, it has like that furry flag material. And the letters, I want to say, are, I don't want to say ironed on, but they're kind of melded on if you look at that, which I think is pretty decent because they could have just sewn in the letters, but they tried to do a little something different to make it feel like an actual, you know, flag type, pennant type deal. So I think that was pretty different, you know what I mean? So 
it feels nice. I mean, it's smooth on there. It's really no bumps, no ridges. I mean, it's, it's done right. It's not rushed or anything like that. So I will give them a hats off to that one. They didn't rush the hat. You know what I mean? And I'm assuming it's the same way on all of them. Now you have your Philly P, of course, you know, your logo sold in there. But like I said, I think that was a nice touch on the hat. Actually making it legit kind of, you know, flag oriented since they're going to call that the name stake of the actual hat. So I think that's pretty dope, man. Like I said, I have a lot of kicks that's this, you know, red, blue, you know, with a little bit of white colorway. So see, and like I said, that's what me with Transparts and, you know, all of the hats. I mean, it, it, it has to meld in some kind of certain way with whatever I'm wearing or whatever I'm doing. So that's the first one. You got your Phillies. Uh, flag oriented, you know, whatever you want to have it. I mean, still, still a pretty dope hat. Now, the next release here, this one released the same day as those, I believe they did, or maybe like a couple of days after. Now, these are going by the name of, actually, it just says Multi 5950 Multi Logo. Okay, but I think it went by um, just a block logo, uh, something like that on there. Again, I buy for a certain reason. This, the one I liked about these. Now, these a lot of people didn't like. They said it was plain. Me, personally, I beg to differ because I bought two of them. Because to me, out of the flag and this release, I think these were the better looking ones. And I'm going to explain why. They even came with the, so they don't smash the hat. I like that. Good touch on the packing. The first one, we got your Pittsburgh Pirate. See how it has your black? Now, to me, why I love this hat, it just kind of gets straight to the point. And if you've seen my last video, I had that Chicago White Sox timeline from over at Hat Club. And I love that hat because you know why? I love that logo, how they did the different timeline of the different logos around the hat. Now, what I like about this one here, it, it, it almost took that touch, but they, they went about it a little different. Like here, you got your representation. Okay, you know you got Pittsburgh. But now what I love about it is you got your Pittsburgh also here above the New Era flag. And then you come around this way. You got your alternate logo. And then when the team was established with the crossbacks, I think that's hella dope in my opinion. And then if you come around on the other side, boom, you got your regular Philly P, which is your, your pretty much standard logo on the Pirates um, fitted hat. So to me, I think that's dope how they give you each logo they give you the established when the team was created. Then they just give you that just regular branding across the front. Now, me, this is going to get a lot of run for me. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Because um, I went about grabbing some shoes real quick. And they're going to... Okay, let me... Hold on a minute. Let me find them. Uh, I think these are them. Let me see. Yeah, these are them. Now... I got these from my guy. Hold on a minute. I'm going to drop his link and everything in the description. Basically, well, this is one of my shoe plugs uh, where I get a lot of my shoes. And he can get you a lot of stuff off of Nike.com for below retail. And uh, I just happened to grab these right here. I will put his Instagram link down below in the description. Uh, he definitely took care of me and hooked me up. Now, if you know about these, these are going by the uh, the Jordan 1 OG High Defiant. Now, these right here, as you see, the first thing you come across and you notice, they got the red and the yellow strings, and then they have the check on the left side of the shoe that's yellow. So, of course, when you think of that and you see that, and then you still got your little bit of red on your pirate logo right there, that's definitely going to kill, in my opinion. Like I said, man, I put all of these things in action when I make a move on anything. It always is a method to the madness, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I have a lot of, sh uh, well, I wouldn't say shoes, but, you know, with yellow. But I have a lot of hats that do have the henna yellow. But they don't have a lot of them with yellow with the red in it also. So, when I saw this and I got to look at the whole hat, I thought these would definitely come right on time with these. So I think that'll be a dope match, especially if I throw the yellow strings in there. That's definitely going to kill with this right here. So, like I said, that was the method to the madness on this hat, too. You know what I mean? And then it gives me a center, too. I can buy a lot more with that colorway because I have something that I know for sure that's going to fly with that. So, like I said, y'all want to get at my guy. Like I said, got that fast shipping. Definitely take care of you. And he's definitely certified by Sean State Fitness, so you already know it's good. I'm never going to steer y'all the wrong way. So, 
that's that release right there, man. So we got the Pittsburgh. And like I said, man, like, I, you know, my saying, it was so nice. I did it twice. So now we got one more here. We try to open this meat without tearing it up and ripping it everywhere. Uh, now this one goes to speak for itself. Just colorway alone, it had to happen. You got your Oakland Athletics, man. You don't like that Oakland A's with that money green and that level. I mean, you're crazy. You already see right there, same makeup as the Pirates. Got your Oakland across the front, and it was a dead ringer. You got that Oakland across the new era right there, classic. You got the classic elephant on the back. You got your established. Then, of course, you already know that classic Oakland A's, man. To me, you really can't hit or miss. I mean, there's a, and, I, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm looking on, I, I may cop another two. I may cop another two of these because it gives you that with the front, it gives you that, that, that kind of plain basic look. But then it hits you with the alternate logos. I mean, to me, this is kind of dope. And now I wanted the Pittsburgh in this one. I'm um, the uh, Pittsburgh, not Pittsburgh, the uh, San Diego Padres. That one, I guess people were thinking the same thing because that one sold out hella quick. I wasn't able to jump on it. But there's there's a lot of ones on here, man, that are real decent and nice. I mean, you know, you, you really can't sleep on these, man. And they can go quick. Like I said, it gives you that basic look. But then it gives you all these alternate logos, and they're not too big and gaudy to where it stands out, make the hat bad. It's just, you know, a nice little drop of the logo, drop of the logo. Gives you that establishing that cross bat. You can't really beat that. You know what I'm saying? I think the cross bat is dope on there. Then you got that original A's on there. I think that's pretty solid, man. You know, and like I said, nothing special really going on the inside or nothing like that. Gives you that gray underbrim. I mean, to me, I mean, it, it does what it's supposed to do. And I had, where are the other ones? I had another pair. I had another pair that go with these also. I'm trying to find them. Let me see. Or at least kind of went with these because I did a lace swap on them. So it might not go technically. But pine green ones with the red laces. I still may be able to freak it. You know what I'm saying? Because I really don't want to change the laces. This green is a little bit brighter. This is a darker green. So like I said, it's kind of like, eh, it's kind of hit or miss. Then I threw the red strings in there. So, but again, uh, one more. I got this from my guy. You know what I'm saying? Check that link down below, man. Definitely the truth and the life that are coming through on these. You know what I mean? But I mean, eh, the greens are kind of off, but I don't know. I'm going to have to actually dress it up and get it on and walk around in to see how it looks. You know what I'm saying? In the house, but Definitely a nice little green. You got your Oakland Lays green. You got your money green. Just depending on the lighting, how it may work. I don't know. It's kind of, eh. Let me know what you think down below. There you go. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think that'll work with the little pine green? You know what I mean? The Oakland A's. Let me know what you think. So, again, with that being said, that's my pickups, man. Like I said, I hit you with the three over the head. You got your Oakland A's. Like I said, I'll just call it the Oakland A's banner. Got your Pittsburgh Pirates banner. And then you got your Philadelphia Phillies flag. So, flag, pennant, I don't know. But that's the three for the day, man. That's what I got for y'all. Pick up from NewAir.com. Got another one coming in from NewAir.com. But I don't know, man. Like I said, with everything going on, this one's taking a little long to ship. I may have to send them an email or something. Because it's been about three days and still hasn't shipped. And they're usually good with their shipping. So, Fingers crossed, man. Hopefully they didn't cancel it or when I, I mean, I still see size ace on the site now, so it can't be that it ran out. So, but like I said, man, I'm gonna hop up out of here. Let me know what y'all think down below. Let me know if y'all picked up any of these. And then, like I said, three newera.com. These are just about, man, maybe not even a week old, at least by the time I got them in the mail. But uh, let me know what y'all feeling about the colorways and the pickups. I'm gonna hop on out of here, man. Like I said, you already know plenty coming up next, plenty to get into and release. Like I said, I didn't even get to review these shoes, and I just got all those in after about, like, maybe a week apart. But, you know, I got a lot going on, man, and I got a lot to review. So stay tuned. Stay for the next one. Like, comment, share, all of that good stuff, man. I'm going to be back to hit y'all over the head with another one. It's your boy. You already know I'm going to hop up out of here. I'm going to see y'all on the next video, man.